let, 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 let's begin. So I got through the first two episodes of this show. And I gotta say, personally, I thought they were both steaming piles of every type of shit you can think of. Dog shit, horse shit, cat shit, animal shit, human shit, any type of shit is this fucking show. Velma has none of the heart or personality that the original predecessors had. Off the bat, our main title character is judgmental, unlikable, annoying, full of herself, and somebody that you don't want to be around. Daphne is a blackmailing scumbag. Fred is a rich man-child with behavior issues. And Black Shaggy, aka Norvell in this show, is an anti-drug and weed blogger. This one isn't too important, but there's a huge missed opportunity with making Norville a stoner. Don't lie, we know that the OG Shaggies was smoking like a motherfucker and eating up all the sandwiches that they could find. So it's kind of heartbreaking for me not to see Norville smoking his ass off, especially in a TVMA show. I just felt it was a huge missed opportunity, especially to make him a sober pussy for Velma. Excuse me, but that's how I feel. So with episode one, we open with Velma attacking Daphne. Daphne and Velma are beefing, and I automatically hate this decision. I didn't want to see these two beefing to such a degree that they both loathe each other. We find the body in Velma's locker, and Velma's thought to be the killer around the school, with Daphne being the one to spread this the most. While Daphne's accusing Velma of the murder, Velma's accusing Fred of the murder. And like I said, Fred here is horrible. He's rich, entitled, he's a big spoiled brat, extremely unlikable, and I could give a fuck less about his character in this show. Or any fucking character. The OG Fred would whoop the shit out of this fucking Fred. Daphne sucks too. She was always the dumber one of the group, but in the originals, she had a bit of personality and character. Here, she's an empty sack of potatoes. There's a really brutal sequence where Shaggy or Norville is telling Velma how much he likes her, and she's taking it as a joke to such a degree that it's like burying Norville to... It's just a fucked up sequence. It wasn't funny. It was just like, damn, this is hard to watch right now, bro. We meet Velma's dad, who's with this pregnant waitress of a girlfriend. We don't find out until episode two, I think. I'll get to that. But the real mother ran away because they were treating the mother like shit, especially Velma. Speaking of which, there is not one ounce of likability with this character, Velma. Every bit of dialogue that comes out of her mouth is extremely cringy and super fucking annoying. To the point where it's very painful to sit through. She also has these very dark and evil hallucinations that chase after her. In random times, they come the fuck out of nowhere. I don't even think these sequences are well done. They just felt very out of place for me. This one might be small to other people, but one thing that pissed me off was that Velma's glasses aren't even her glasses in this show. She can pretty much see fine, it's just she has these glasses on as memorabilia for her mom. And it doesn't come across as emotional or sweet since it was left from her mom. Nowhere near it, it just feels completely random and it feels like, what the fuck, Velma can see? She just has random glasses on? What, the, Velma, the OG Velma was blind. Her fucking glasses would fall off. My glasses, I can't find my glasses. That That's part of Velma. That's a big part of Velma. The glasses are a big identity of Velma. And you're telling me that in this show, at least in the first two episodes I've seen, Velma can see? Those aren't even her glasses? What the fuck is going on, man? That's what I have for episode one. You guys got to bear with me because this was a very painful experience. Moving on to episode two. Norville, aka Black Shaggy, continues to say that he hates weed and goes as far as to say that if he's found saying some type of 420 slogan to kill him, his words. Fred is painted as the serial killer and he's pretty much being the extremely unlikable asshole to everybody and everything in his fucking sight. Velma's dad is also a lawyer, and he just so happens to be representing Fred in his case. Why? I don't know. 
We have two lady cops that pop in and out of the show, and I found these two to be very annoying as well. They go undercover to find drugs in Velma's high school, and they have 90s attire on with the cap backwards and shit like that. And one of them says, what's the 411 home skillet? No, 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 hell no. What kind of shit is that? I want to say that I'm over-exaggerating, but I'm really not. I mentioned in the first episode that Velma's mom left the family, but I forgot to mention that Velma is also searching for her mother. She doesn't know the truth until the end of this episode that her mother left. Daphne has Velma's mom's cold case. She blackmails Velma for money and gets her to sell weed and drugs at the school, which they call Zoinks, Jeepers, and the Mystery Machine. The only mention we get of the Mystery Machine so far is that it's named after a type of drug, not any of our actual pals getting together in a Mystery Machine. Again, so far, maybe they get to it later on, but... I'm just talking about these two fucking episodes. We have a very cringy sequence where Velma's destroying every chance she gets of selling the drug by mouthing off and being a judgmental bitch. Black Shaggy continues to want Velma who doesn't want him at all and basically continues to friend zone him. Even to the point where he almost sells his kidney for $500 to get the Velma for her mom's cold case. This motherfucker was friend zone and was about to sell his kidney. They made Shaggy a chump in this show, sadly. Fred and Velma's dad come up with a plan to make Fred more childlike, to paint him as innocent, and this scene was horrible. Black Shaggy gets saved from selling his kidney, thank goodness, by a crew of fans that watch his blogs. We get an almost lesbian moment between Velma and Daphne that leads into the two becoming friends again for a brief moment. That is until Daphne blackmails Velma again to sell her drugs to get her mom's case file. The next customer turns out to be Velma's dad. They come to an agreement where Velma proves Fred innocent and Velma's dad gives her the $500 for the case file. Next scene, they're in a courtroom and Velma is proving Fred innocent. I didn't mention that we find another body in episode two, but Fred pretty much confirms that he did kill these two girls when he pulls out a knife and starts going nutso in the court. After Daphne sees this, she goes to Velma's to give her the file and to make amends. Velma slips into another stupid random hallucination and this is broken by Daphne kissing Velma. Pussy Shaggy in his Monopoly outfit stands by watching this and his heart breaks. And that's the end of episode two. Obviously, I didn't lay down every single stitch of detail with these two episodes, but I tried my best. This shit was very painful, like I've said a million times, but my eyeballs suffered. It was very torturous. The writing is horrendous. None of the characters are likable. Maybe Fred's dad gave me a tiny chuckle in episode two, but that was it. If I'm going to give a grade on our title character, it's an F. She sucks. Fred sucks. Daphne sucks, Black Shaggy sucks, he's a chump, but that's it y'all, it's your boy Fro, hope you enjoyed this video, if you want more, subscribe, hit the like button, and I appreciate y'all, peace.